This is Rockport Ryan with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Hello, Texas Fishing Tips. This is Rockport Ryan back again. Uh, man, <laughs> right now we have no water, and the water that's there is cold as heck. But the fish are there. They are definitely there. Uh, definite places where they are stacking up is... If you come out here by Goose Island, Goose Island State Park, the boat ramp, and it is open for day use, launch out there at Goose Island State Park, paddle around to right underneath that hump of the pier, that channel that's been going through there still has fish in it, and now with nobody being able to actually camp there, they're really stacking up. Uh, all in that ditch, uh, coming out here to East Pocket around this first island, there's a little cut that runs right through there. What you're going to be looking for is deep mud that's going to be holding that temperature and the fish are going to stack up. As the day moves on, they'll venture out from there. But uh, earlier in the morning, they're definitely going to be in those deeper areas and then just transitioning anywhere around there. Those are going to be some of the places over around St. Charles Bay to look at. Coming out over here, uh, Port Bay Road, again, there is no water. But the nice thing about that is, is that if you come all the way around back to this canal, right at the mouth of those canals, those canals are actually deep enough. This flat area out in the backside of Italian Bend is definitely deep enough to be holding some of those fish. If you come all the way around Italian Bend, just stay out in this deeper water, maybe right at the entrance to these marsh lakes, that are going into uh, the Cape Valero area, but do not go into the Cape Valero Marsh Lakes. It is too shallow. Just stay out here in that major cut coming through there. Another place out here in Copano Bay area is going to be coming out. Uh, you're going to need to, going out towards Swan Lake, you're going to need to stay to the right because that left bank line is going to be way too shallow. Uh, but when you come in here, if the you got those nice east winds like we're going to be looking at possibly this weekend is going to be coming up here and just going back and forth doing drifts through here with that water temperature as low as it is all of this is slow and low retrieves um, that's why i like doing some of these trolls through here is just that extreme slow crawl with a paddle tail a uh, spoon, uh, spinner, all that stuff, just enough to get it in front of them, but not too fast where it's gone from them before they have a chance to hit it. So all of these areas over here, that's what it's all going to be about. Just paddle tails down near the bottom, bounce them on the bottom. If you get into some of the really shallow areas, your bugs lures are working real well. Uh, Either in the, the all white or the blue crab have been doing well. Paddle tails, most of what we've been throwing have been darker colors. Uh, you're like plum and chartreuse. Uh, those colors have been working well. But just remember, the colder the water, the slower your retrieve. All right. The other places to be checking is going to be right everywhere along the uh, ICW, catching that drop off. Uh, launching there at Palm Harbor and coming up the shoreline. Or even from Con Brown and coming out, get between these islands. Here in Terminal Flats, uh, definitely along this channel that's right here. Uh, well, again, what we're looking for are those deeper cuts, mud lined, where the fish are going to be hanging out. Uh, around some of these islands, you've got some cuts coming through. Uh, this first island right here. Uh, right around the uh, left side of it, there's going to be some of those cuts. All of that's going to be places that we're looking for. If you're coming further down the road, that's definitely this sailboat channel and the split off. Uh, some of the flats are still going to have some water on them. Launched a little later in the day, if you come down those channels as you go out into those flats, you'll be able to hit into some fish. Uh, coming down from the park, going into the lakes themselves, there, there's just not the water. But checking right along these ICW, the bridge, coming around underneath that bridge, 
These are going to be the types of areas that you'll be like looking for. Uh, the aquatic center is probably going to be too shallow right now uh, when you come out from it. Uh, Ransom Flats will still hold some, but it's mainly going to be coming to that cut in there and then right in front of those ruins. That's going to be the main ticket for the short time being is finding those deep spots, low and slow, and just get out there as often as you can. But remember, if you're going out there, wear your PFDs. This water is cold. Best thing to do, grab a change of clothes, throw it in a dry bag, put it there in the bow of your kayaks. We've had some uh, stories coming out of some of the guys like flipping over in their kayaks or for what other reason getting wet while they're out there. Guys, this temperature is not something to play around with. Be safe and uh, we'll catch you on the hookup. This is Rockport Ryan. Thank you for watching.